Do you think that I'm a tiger? No. No. I'm no tiger. Good morning everyone, Tiger here. I hope you're having a lovely day. We are in Hanoi. This city is bustling with energy and there's food everywhere. Today we're going to explore four different dishes here in Hanoi and we're going to start out with some delicious bun cha and we're going to move on to some suabien which is uh, pickled uh, jellyfish with fermented fish sauce and then we're going to eat some caramel and lastly we're going to eat some sticky rice chicken. Okay, I'm super excited. Let's go eat some good food. Okay, so we are standing on a really busy street. There's uh, bikes coming through all the time. And in this alleyway right here, we're going to try Pun Cha. And they're making it on the street with charcoal burning and the smoke is just filling the whole complex here. I'm so excited to eat some Pun Cha, so let's go. Look at this, guys, this is so wonderful. The smoke is filling this whole place. So we are patiently waiting for the buncha to arrive and she's just, right now she is grilling it and it looks very, very nice, very fresh and you can just see the grease is like dripping from those meats, really good. not gonna get any of my buncha that's for sure okay the environment that I'm in does not get better than this it's li literally on a plastic chair and a plastic table and uh, I have the two bowls of buncha and uh, some wonderful herbs and salad and also I got some rice noodles just look at those wonderful pieces inside this buncha like they have a really dark tint to it and it's because this charcoal has been uh, giving its flavor right now you will add the herbs into the sweet and sour soup that is in the buncha and uh, then you will add some noodles and then you will eat it and that's what I'm gonna do right now get that flavor in there okay The noodles themselves is just soaking up all that sweet and sour flavor. But to the main point here is of course the meats. And I can't wait to try that. So let's go for a really big chunk of that meat. See when like they're, they're imperfections, you can see kind of like where the stick has been. Mm. That is wonderful. That is so tender. And also you have the charcoal flavor in there. And you can actually see some burnt pieces laying on top of the soup. You shall not forget the fatty pork that is inside here as well. You can just look like in the middle here is a big chunk of fat. And this is how it should be. So let's go for that. Mm. Yeah, that is super fatty. But the fat just completely melts. Mm. Mm. So we got a really good surprise here. She's cutting up some spring rolls. Looks so good. Let's look at that. Okay, come on, come on. Whoa, look at that filling. Woo! And so hot, god damn. All right, we're saving that for the last part. Mm. And don't forget these really nice rice noodles on the side as well that you need to dip. Just look at that. You dip it in this sweet and sour sauce and you just take it up really quickly and it has been soaked together with these herbs in there. All right. <laughs> Love these papaya pieces in there, these pickled papaya pieces. They're really, really soft and crunchy and they add some flavor as well. Oh, just look at that, the onions, the pork pieces. This is what I like in this really crunchy outside and the golden color from that. Really wonderful and greasy. And inside we have the pork pieces as well and some uh, glass noodles. So I have a pretty big mouth, so <laughs> I'm gonna take this whole thing in here, okay? Mm. Mm. Wow. 
Everyone that comes to Hanoi eats bun cha, but not a lot of people go to the street and try it when they actually do the real thing. This was a really lovely meal and I'm ready to continue eating. Back on. Uh, come come on. on. All right. So let's play. Which team? Okay, so they literally just stole my water. I don't know what to feel about that. It's the weirdest thing you ever ate. Dog. 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 Great. You want to eat dog right now? No, 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 no. no okay, no, no. tomorrow. No. Okay, what? tomorrow. No. Tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow. <laughs> well played, guys. So, my question here, very important question. All right? Do I resemble a tiger to you? No. What's your favorite dish? What's your favorite dish? What do you like eating? Sheet. <laughs> Pizza. Pizza? Yeah. Ice cream. Oh, ice cream is not. Yeah. Ice cream is not food. Okay, this is not what I looked for. Come on. Come on. Okay. Let's play more. Let's go. Okay, that was fun teaching the kids how to play football. Apparently, the, the favorite thing to eat is pizza and dog. Let's not combine those together. Okay, so next one coming up is something very different, which most people won't try. It is pickled jelly, a pickled jellyfish, and uh, it is called. Uh, if you follow me here, I will show you. It is called Sua Bien, and we have a sign right here. Ciao go. Ciao ciao. I'm Sua. The weirdest thing you ever eaten. Sua Bien. This is the weirdest thing that you ever eaten, and now it's my turn to try it as well. Like, how is that even possible? Just look at this bowl right here. It is the pickled jellyfish. Okay, so you can just see the vibrant colors in here. So this is a pickled jellyfish, and the coloring comes from a plant that they use, so it uh, gets more red. It looks really vibrant. It's crazy. Okay, she's offering me here to smell this uh, lovely, wonderful fermented fish sauce. So let's see that. Um, yeah, this is gonna be lovely. I already feel it, you know, after feeling that smell. Yeah, you will have some tofu and you will have some coconut and of course the jellyfish. And she wraps it in a herb and you dip it into this lovely smelly sauce. So I'm going to do that right now. So, why are people always using bikes? Like. Can't they just walk, you know? Walking is good. Okay, so you will have a herb, and on the herb you will wrap up coconut, tofu, and the jellyfish. And you will dip that into the fermented fish sauce. I can already feel that lovely smell. <clears throat> Here we go, super excited. Mm. Mm. I'm not so sure about this. I can really feel the rotten fish in there, so good. Just like strawberry, honestly, you can feel the gelatinous part there and it's uh, kind of weird and uh, you definitely feel the smell of the fermented fish sauce. It's not my favorite, but it's acceptable. <laughs> okay, so this was really interesting to try. Come on. Come on. Come on, okay. Okay, let's go. lovely jellyfish we are ready to eat some lovely dessert it is a caramel and the place we're outside is called Haofu so let's go inside and see you see here is is this one this is the one that we will get okay so what you're doing is you're taking a plastic chair and you're sitting outside on the street to try this stuff 
Okay, so I have the two caramels right here. They look really, really nice. And see them wobble in like this. That's when you know the texture is going to be really, really soft. And, uh, oops. Oh no, I just broke it. Okay, I have a feeling that this is gonna taste better than rotten fish. Just look at this texture right here. It's so wobbly. And inside, this is made of uh, eggs and milk. And the brown liquid that you see here is from the sugar. It's brown sugar. And you can see like when I divide this, like the texture of this, it's really, really soft, like slice through like that. Just take a really big piece out of this. Mm. Super soft and really milky. That brown sugar in the bottom really makes the caramel come through. All right, let's go for another bite. Completely melts in your mouth. that was a very lovely dessert really tasteful and uh, I think we're right about done here so we are ready to move on so let's go Come on. Come on. Come on. like this no, no, no. <laughs> very important question if I say tiger what do you say uh, no. nothing do I look like a tiger to you no tiger no, no. <laughs> what is your favorite food in Vietnam? Don't say pizza with dog meat because we already got that. Ice cream. Ice cream? Yeah. Ice cream is not food! No, no pizza with dog meat and no ice cream. What do you say? Uh, hamburger. Uh, is that dog inside hamburger? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. How long have I been in Vietnam? Too long. Famous, famous, very famous. Yeah. Come on. Okay, so we have arrived at the next destination and it is called Soy Yen. And they will be serving uh, sticky rice and with different types of meats on the topping. Uh, it is super famous, there's a lot of people here and uh, yeah, let's go try it. So this looks really, really good. They're cooking on the street here. And you can see some thick pate. You can see some sausages in a big pot. And you can also see the sticky yellow rice. And they're cutting up potatoes on top of that sticky rice. And they're topping it up with some uh, crunchy onions. shouldn't be eating before recording. Sorry. Okay. So we have settled down and uh, I got their most basic and common dish, which is called soy ga. And uh, this dish is a sticky rice dish and they are slicing some green bean in there and they are topping it up with some chicken and some crunchy onions. And on the side you will have some uh, crunchy uh, cucumber together with some chili. Uh, looks pretty damn good to be honest. The smell of the chicken is really good. So let's get a big bite here. You see the slices of chicken right here and you can see the crunchy onions and the green bean that is on top of the sticky rice. Oh, it's so sticky. Woo. Let's just go for a big bite here. Mm. That is so sticky and so fluffy green bean. It's really, really good. So on the side here, you will have some kind of like pickled cucumber and you will just take some of this and you will take the sticky rice and everything and you will combine it like that. Mm. That is so much better. The sweetness from the cucumber, really good. My favorite part about the dish is actually the green bean. It is really filling. I love that flavor. And when it's combined with everything else, really good. All right. Okay, that was some wonderful soy ga. I feel like I'm pregnant now. Uh, look at that. I don't know how many babies, but... Okay, so we are going to stroll around the lake, Hong Kiem Lake, which is in the center of the old town. And uh, there's a lot of beautiful activities around this time. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this. And if you want, you can subscribe, because that is how I would be able to make more like these. And as always, guys, stay hungry.